For cheap and safe coins go check the link in the description and use Krasi for a cool discount and if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards G2A is also down below. How's it going guys my name is Krasi and today I'm gonna teach you how to select the right player on the pitch in order to intercept passes, stop through balls and pressure the opponents in their own field. This is a defending tutorial focused on how to switch between your players and position them properly on the pitch. I'm gonna show you the best technique by giving you a few in-game examples of different situations but before we go any further make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoy my tutorial series and if you wanna see more useful tips and tricks coming up on the channel. I guess most of you switch between your players by using the L1 LB button. Unfortunately if you use that button you can only choose the closest player to the ball which is very useful in some certain situations but in some other cases you will struggle to defend. The first and most important rule that I always follow while defending is if I wanna select the closest teammate to the ball I use the L1 LB button however for all of the rest of the situations I use the right analog because I can switch to anyone on the pitch except the goalkeeper. Well guys the technique is pretty easy to do. All you need to do is flick the right analog towards the player on the pitch that you wanna control. Let's take a look at the following situation. If I use the L1 LB button to switch my players I can only switch to the guy marked in green because he is the closest player to the ball and if I use the right analog I can switch to the last player in my defense in order to drag him back and cover the gaps thus helping me stop through balls towards the two strikers that are running forward. The same rule applies to the following situation. The only way for me to cover the left winger who makes a run towards the goal is by using the right analog. Once I switch to my right fullback I start dragging him back in order to cover the gaps. That's how I always defend against through balls without leaving any room for such deadly passes. I love scoring goals using through balls because my opponents never drag back their last defenders using the right analog which results in placing my strikers in shooting positions with ease but if you follow my tips fellas you will no longer concede goals from through balls. Next I wanna show you how I use the right analog in the opponent's half to pressure my opponents and get them to make a mistake. First of all fellas I use the second teammate support button, I have a particular tutorial on the channel on how to apply pressure with the second teammate. Once I pressure the opponent using the second teammate support I use the right analog to switch to a player that will be able to stop the opponent's counter attack in case the player in possession decides to pass the ball. As you can see from this example I managed to take the ball counter him instantly and score the goal. I always use this method for pressuring the opponents in their own field if I lose the ball. You cannot apply pressure like this if you use the L1 LB button because you cannot select the right player on the first try. The right analog is a game changer technique fellas which will take you to the next level and help you be a step ahead of your opponents. So guys this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 16 tutorial. You've got another useful technique which will help you pressure the opponents intercept their passes and last but not least it will help you stop through balls and cover the gaps in your defense. As always if you've enjoyed the tutorial you're welcome to hit the like button below. Thank you for watching my name is Krasi and I will catch you later.